بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه كما يحب ربنا ويرضى هذه الليلة بإذن الله تعالى نريد أن ننظر إلى فضل الصيام Tonight we want to look at some ahadith on the benefits of the virtue of fasting abstaining during this month of Ramadan جاء في صحيح مسلم وكذلك في البخاري من حديث أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم قال كل عمل ابن آدم له إلا الصوم all the acts all the deeds all the good deeds the son of Adam of mankind are for him except fasting except abstinence فإنه لي وأنا أجزي بي Verily, his fasting is specifically for me. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying. Verily, his fasting is for me, and I reward him regarding it. La khaluf is from his sa'im, the breath of the mouth of the person who's fasting. Atiyabu inda Allah min rih al misk. The breath of the one who's fasting is more good with Allah, is better with Allah than the smell. Of misc. What does this mean? Al Amru Al Ibn Adam Lahu illa sound. Wa innahu khas lilla. What does this mean? That the good deeds that you do is for yourself, except fasting, that is specifically for Allah. The deeds that you do, you get praise for it. لو قدمت إلى المسجد كل يوم وكنت في صف الأول أو صليت بالناس أو قرأت القرآن أو لبست لباس طيبة الذي يوافق يوافق السنة أو ربيت لحيتك كل هذه الأشياء يجلب لك ماذا أصنع All these deeds that you do whether you get to the masjid early and you pray in the first row or recite Quran beautifully or you wear that which is in accordance with the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah or you go to your bed, or one wears a hijab correctly. And other than that, from good deeds, they achieve from that the praise of mankind. As for fasting, no. Nobody knows the difficulty that the faster goes to. Some of us fast, and it gets a headache. Nobody knows. Some of us fast, and they get, they're, they're short. They're short-tempered. Some of us fast for you. You You wajjahu some of us, they fast, and maybe their joints give them pain. Maybe they become tired. That which she goes to from difficulty and ease, and hunger and thirst, headache, and difficulty, and hardship. Nobody knows except Allah. As for the good deeds, it comes to Sahih Muslim when the hadith of Abi Dharrin. رضي الله عنه قيل لرسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أرأيت الرجل يعمل العمل من الخير فيحمده الناس عليه فيحمده الناس عليه قال تلك عاجل بشرى المؤمن هكذا الأعمال الصالحة it was said to the prophet do you see that a man he would do a good deed he would do a deed from the, from good deeds that's goodness and the people, they praise him for these deeds that he does. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, this is, the, this is the hastening of good news for the believer. He gets his reward muqaddaman. Now, he gets his reward beforehand that the people praise him for these kind of deeds. As for fasting, then that is not the case. Naqra hadith, but we can understand the virtue of fasting. It comes in Ibn Majim and hadith, Talha Ibn Ubaidillah. أن رجلين من بلي وهي قبيلة قديمة على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم كان إسلامهما جميعا two people two men from this tribe called بلي they came to the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم and they both accepted Islam at the same time كان أحدهما أشد اجتهادا من الآخر one of them was more hard working and good deeds than the other فَغَزَى الْمُجْتَهِدُ مِنْهُمَا فَاسْتُشْهِدَ The one that was more hardworking, he went, on, he went out on the expedition to fight, and he was killed. 
The one after him, he lived the whole year after the first one, then he passed away and then he died. He said, I saw in the dream. While I was standing at the door of Jannah, he's outside of Jannah. I'm standing in front of Jannah with these two people and somebody from Jannah came out. Somebody came out of Jannah and he gave permission for the one that died later to enter Jannah. Then after a while, he came back out and he gave permission for the one that was killed in the name of Allah to enter. Then he came back to me. He told me to go back for the time you to come into Jannah. It's not now. Go back to the dunya. Talha, when he, came, when he woke up, he started explaining this dream and telling everybody. They were surprised. They were surprised that this person entered Jannah for the other one. فَقَالُوا يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ هَذَا كَانَ أَشَدَّ الرَّجُلَيْنِ إِجْتِهَادًا They said this one was more hardworking than the other. ثُمَّ اسْتُشْهِدَ Then he was killed. ثُمَّ دَخَلَ الْآخِرَ الْجَنَّةِ قَبْلَ But then the one that died later on after him entered Jannah before him. فَقَالُوا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ أَلَيْسَ قَدْ مَكَثَ بَعَدَهُ سَنَةً He said, didn't he live after him a whole year? Didn't he live after him a whole year? They said, قَالُوا بَلَى He said, yes. قَالَ أَدْرَكَ رَمَضَانِ صَامَ وَصَلَّى كَذَا وَكَذَا مِنِ سَجْدَةٍ فِي السَّنَةِ Then he reached another Ramadan. And how many sajdas he made? Excellent amount of sujood. Sujood at the sujood. قَالُوا بَلَى They said, yes. فَقَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ فَمَا بَيْنُهُمَا أَبْعَدْ مِمَّا بَيْنَ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ That which is between them is greater than that which is between the heavens and the earth. And all of this is for us to understand the great reward in you fasting. اِحْتَسِبِ الْأَجْرِ فَاسْبِرْ عَلَى مَنْ تَعَلَيْهِ Seek the reward from Allah. And the Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam قَالَ مَنْ صَامَ إِيمَانًا وَاحْتِسَابٍ اِحْتَسِبْ Seek the reward. Whoever fasts, believing in Allah and seeking the reward, غُفِلَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِ It is forgiven for him that which proceeded from his sins. نَصَّرَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَ لَنَا الْعَافِيَةِ سُبْحَانَكَ لَهُمْ وَبِحَمْدِكَ شَرًا لَا إِلَهَا إِلَّا أَنْتِ سَلَكُ رُسُوَاتِكُ إِلَيْكَ